kids, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. From Waterfall Acrylics is not my last name. <laughs> Somebody posted that on one of the groups yesterday and it cracked me up. Um, anyway, I'm back chatty as ever. Um, I hope you didn't mind the uh, videos to music so much. Um, it was a nice little reprieve, I thought. Anyway, uh, my vampire ways are over because I have to get up at the crack of dawn to help my daughter with school. So look, it's daylight outside. So um, anyway, today I'm going to do um, series number three with negative space. I'm going to do um, a little eight by eight with the bloom um, on the corner more to test out colors and then we'll move on to a 12 by 16 um, and not fill up the canvas. And then if you guys have suggestions for videos four and five, of what you want to see with negative space colors or maybe a different technique let me know in the comments I'd appreciate it and uh, let me get set up okay there's an old beat-up canvas um, I'm color experimenting I have six colors <laughs> uh, and I have Amsterdam is it called hue or is it aqua green hold on trying to reach it I have turquoise green as my cell activator it's opaque I'm gonna put that on top <laughs> see what that looks like but I wanted to test it out on just this little 8x8 before I move on to a big canvas so let's just try this first and see what uh, the bloom looks like in these colors um, Oh, I wanted to show you something first. Hold on, time out. So I wanted to show you two things that are um, new favorite products. One is that you can get it at the dollar store. If you don't have a dollar store near you and you're stateside, you, it's in my Amazon shop. Or these shower caps. These ones, uh, they're a buck each, but they are lined on the inside. There's one on my wheel right now. They fit perfectly. And what's nice is the paint more or less peels off most of it and you can reuse it. I'm on like, I don't know, I've used mine nine or 10 times now, um, but the paint does not seep through and they're sturdy. Whereas they also sell, and it's on my base, clear plastic ones that doesn't fit the top as well. They're great for the base um, and they come eight to a pack. So I was like, that's a deal. So I bought a couple packs of those as well. So the clear ones for the bottom, the cover ones, I went with the Hawaiian one. They come in a variety of patterns um, for a buck. And then also in my Amazon shop are these little silicon sticks. These are amazing. They're called um, Every Last Drop. And they come in handy. And I just used one because it's all dirty. Um, I used it for my Cronacridone Violet, but like for these little golden jars. I love golden paint, but I don't like their containers because they're flat here and you can't get the paint out. These dig out all of the paint. So they're amazing. They come in a, um, a pack of four in a variety of sizes and they're just super, super handy. Plus they're silicone, so they clean up super easy. Okay, enough of the sales pitch. Got a puddle. I should probably put a little more paint on that and I'm gonna do just oops a little off-center bloom leave a little bit of negative space um, and then if I like this color scheme we'll move on to a bigger canvas so colors recipe ratios brands all of that will come up at the end of the video on one screen so you can screenshot it and uh, have it for your art. So, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to go with, I have a couple of just golden fluid acrylics and a couple um, color art pigments. This is a color art pigment. And we're going to start just a little off center right there with this orange. And this is going to be a crazy color com combo, I think. So I'm going to do orange. Violet. Mm. Some yellow. Uh, what 
else do I got? Let's do some of that. Maybe a little bronze. And then we're going to throw teal <laughs> on top of it. I was going to do black, and I'm like, come on, be adventurous, do something else. So let's see how teal works out. I'm going to make sure it's not, my ratio is kind of in between three and four to one, and that is not making a halo. So I'm going to go ahead, and I have my Australian flow troll and the squeeze thing now, so I'm just going to squeeze a little more in here. And give it a mix. Oh, it's getting a slight halo. And just add a little more that's thinner. And let's blow this out with my little baby hair dryer. It's sliding to the corner, that's actually a good thing. Well, maybe too much to the corner. Hold on. Ugh. Something like that. All right. Wish me luck. space aspect of it let me stick my head in and give this a puff um, my husband found an old iPhone and we're charging it and if it works I'm going to be able to set up two cameras and have one more on an angle so that when I do blooms and I puff you guys will be able to see it instead of my head hopefully I'll have that ready for the next video but in the meantime, apologies for the headshot. Just a couple little baby cells. Just give that a second. I think I have enough paint on here. I'll just get it to spread out a little bit. I want to keep the negative space and I think I love the colors yep all right nothing crazy I ah, see that middle wasn't settled so it made like a little ripple right there hmm oh gosh look at the yellow that yellow is amazing that yellow is, <laughs> I, I had to laugh. I'm gonna ask um, my uh, Alexa how to spell it because I can't even pronounce this yellow. It's golden fluid acrylics and it's like benzimidazione <laughs> yellow medium. Echo, how do you pronounce B E N Z? I-M-I-D-A-Z-O-L-O-N-E. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Reconnaissance. Once again, <laughs> it is pronounced Reconnaissance. Last time, Reconnaissance. Uh, okay, it is definitely not Reconnaissance Yellow. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, let me stare at this. See if I'm gonna live with that little ripple right there. I love that. This middle part is phenomenal. Um, I don't know if I like this little guy. And if I keep spinning, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna lose this cool stuff here. Like if I spin to like get this guy all the way over. Maybe I will just for the hell of it because this was just an exercise and seeing how the teal performed as a cell activator. So what the hell? 
We'll do it again if it turns out horrible. Oh yeah, see how it got all wonky? But that part is amazing. So yep, I'm gonna go with that color scheme from our larger one. I'm gonna scrape this guy real quick and we'll do, we'll do a do-over. So I have a little eight by eight too. So let me just see if I can flip all of this. And we'll do it over. But I like the colors very much. Try to save paint. Make like a little envelope. Yep. Ugh, that wasn't smart. Oh, it's all over my arms. I'm gonna be a hot mess today. All right. We'll just go in the middle this time. Take two. Oh gosh, am I gonna remember the order? Sorta, of, kinda. Oops, oh, I got white paint mixed in there. And I'm dripping. I'm a hot mess, y'all. Um, let's do, let me wipe off my hands on my apron. Do this next. Followed by some yellow. If anyone knows how to pronounce that word, can you put it in the comments phonetically? Uh, let me see. No, I'm gonna save the purple for last. So let's go with some bronze. And then the deep violet. And we'll see how my cell activator is now that it's a little thinner. Take two. second. I think I'm going to lose my negative space. I might have some here in this corner. I'm going to, I'm going to be more patient this time and let that really pull uh, in the middle. Oh, do I want to give a little puff? Maybe just a baby one. Yep, and let that collect right there. So, this is really, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if you can see it. The, um, the uh, turquoise green lacing over the orange right there is gorgeous. All right, that seems to be pretty collected right there. Kind of a weird shape. Let's see how this turns out. Oh my gosh, I love the colors it made. Well, so much for uh, negative space, but that is stunning so I might as well try to go a little bit more and uh, take it off oh 
Oh, so close. Yeah, that's gonna bug me. I'm gonna go for it. How close are you now? I still see you on the edge. I still see you, I still see you. Wow. Mad love. I'm gonna go one more time. Very striking. Oh gosh. What do you guys think? Do you like the uh, blue cell activator? I think so, or the turquoise. I think it looks amazing. Um, I'll show you close up in a bit. I am a hot mess. So let me clean up. Um, I'm gonna put my container away because I'm not gonna be able to spin my big guy. I might put it on my spinner and figure out if I can gently spin without making a giant mess in my kitchen. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, before I throw my canvas, I'm gonna uh, change the plans. I'm not gonna do the 12 by 16 because I do think I wanna spin it out. And so that means a video outside using my doggy pool. Um, instead, my Convexo canvases have come in and I have five of them. And this is a 12 inch round with the rounded edges. These are Frederick's canvases. Um, they've been sold out on Amazon. I think you can get them at Blix. I think last time I did a video with these, um, I'll put the link to the video um, up there in the video. They sold out pretty quick. Um, and I wanted to show you, like if this one's all taped up in the back, but Frederick's canvases are so awesome. Like even though this is a staple back, look how many staples are on the back of this thing. Now, if you buy like a master's touch round canvas from Hobby Lobby, it'll have half that amount. Like that canvas is not moving. It will not stretch on you. It won't bow or do anything like that's a lot of staples, like really just high quality canvases, love them. So I'm uh, so in love with that last one, I wanna do it on this one. I have um, this one, this is a 12 inch, I have an eight inch, and then um, I'll do another video. Um, I know I wanna use red and blue um, and do like a, a set of three. But for now, um, it doesn't hurt to have a one-off, right? So same colors. So much for the uh, negative space video <laughs> today. That could be next time. Uh, we'll get to it. When you're inspired, you got to roll with it. That's what I say. Like, if you have to change course midstream because something happened, do it. Definitely do it. Hopefully that's enough paint. Or it's 12 inch and I'm using just the the wet paint that's on that on my uh on my cake spinner that that'll hold it I don't have to worry about it flying off it acts like a suction cup all right I gotta take a sip of my tea for good luck big 12 inch bloom um I know I started with I don't remember what I started with. I think the orange color. So obviously, bigger puddle, more paint. Uh, I just don't remember. I totally have forgotten the order. It's gonna wing it. That was a whole five minutes ago. Mm, I can't be expected to remember that long ago. And then what? Uh, do some yellow. The yellow that has a word in front of it that sounds like some sort of heart medicine. Yeah, what am I missing? Some bronze. Yeah, I think this order is off, but that's okay. And then the teal. 
All right. Cross your fingers again. That should be plenty. So activator, let that sink just a little bit. I probably should have broken out my big hair dryer. I think I'm gonna grab it really quick. It sinks too much, because it's close by. All right, I got out my big guy. I'm gonna put it on high, um, high fan, low, cool air. The um, that bronze copper color, what is that? It is, oh, it's a um, Perlex pigment called, it has no name. Super bronze, super bronze there in the middle. Just a little puff or two right there, nothing crazy. Try to keep my hair out of it, my bangs. We're gonna be patient and let that rise up so that everything moves in unison. I love all the different colors. Just gonna wait, be patient, be patient. I'm watching it. Waiting, waiting, fast forward 15 seconds. I'm wondering if I should pick it up and tilt it a little this way, just like a little bit. I just washed my hands, they're gonna get all dirty again. Oh well. Just a stitch like that, you know? Make sure this, oh, that seems crooked now. No, it needs to go, there we go, that's level. All right, here we go, let's spread things out. Oh my gosh, that aqua lacing is just killer. Killer! I want it over here a little more. Although it matches that side. I don't like this big stuff here. Just maybe one more. That was wimpy. The copper with the orange. Yeah, this part's gonna come off. Hold on one sec, then I'll stare. This is one where I should have put a stick under my wheel because uh, since the canvas is the same size as the turntable, I have nothing to grab onto to give it a spin. Close enough, I say. That looks cool coming off the sides. Let me stare. No, I want it off more, because I'm greedy. There, I saw things flying that time. There we go, now I'm happy. Wow. That's kind of amazing. Yep, ta-da! 
What do you guys think of the blue uh, sew activator? Do we like it? Um, I love it with the, um, the violet. I kind of lost the dark violet. There's a little bit in the middle, but the yellow and the um, orange peel color with the bronze, I think it looks amazing. Amazing, ta-da. I'm done. Um, maybe I, uh, I might swap out one or two colors. I think I'll break up my other Convexo canvases and I'll do another video with those because I'm all inspired. And then um, you guys got to see this, the one corner. I can't wait to get you down close. In fact, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. I'm going to leave this just sit here and um, get you guys down for a close up on both of these and uh, figure out what to do with my next video. Hold on one sec. <laughs> and you guys thought I was done. I'm too inspired by those colors that I'm like, what the hell, I might as well do the, uh, what is this, an eight inch one? And uh, you know, do a little set because I just love them. I still love the square one too. And I think I have just enough house paint to knock out this guy. So let's go for it. All right, yep, it's just enough house paint. And see, I put away my big hair dryer, got the little guy back out. Oh, I gotta plug it in. One of the best things I did, I, um, I designed our kitchen. It used to be two rooms and now it's just one big open space and uh, when I designed it, I did it on a napkin and gave it to our guy. And uh, when he put in the island, I made them come back and put in electricity so I could plug things in. Best decision ever, because I have an outlet like a foot away from me. All right, I know I started with the orange. And I'm gonna go Go with the purple. The yellow. It's sliding off here. No, uh uh. uh. This one's going. Uh uh. Get back. What? Maybe, maybe you ever. No. You guys okay there? Okay, there. Yellow. I'm gonna do the bronze. I'm gonna change up the order just a little bit. The uh, cell activator color will make everything, it'll you make it the, be the unifier. So that's, oops, that's what I'm trying to say. And then we're gonna do the violet. Is that all the colors? Yeah, yeah. Get back over there. Um, um, I'm level somehow and I can't figure out why or I just have too much paint All right, cell activator Plenty Little hair dryer I'm just so taken with those colors. This one is cool because I got the orange on one side and the uh, red violet on the other. I wore gloves. Why did I wear gloves? Oh, because I, uh, I was moving things around. So let me take this off so I can hold my hair. My bangs keep falling down. I have my hair up, but all right.
little bit of patience, let that rise up. Uh, big mistake on my part this time in that, um, obviously I used too much paint. So don't do what I do there. Way too much paint. Look at all that. Wasted. Don't do that. <laughs> Learn from me. Don't do that. Uh, as soon as that rises up a little more right there, we'll go and give it a spin. I mean, it doesn't even need spun. I have like complete coverage everywhere, but there's too much paint on the canvas. So I'm going to spread it out a little bit. I'm a little worried about doing it because I love it just the way it is. And I'm worried about losing this stuff here. So maybe just a baby spin, little, nothing fast this time. See, look at my turntable. Wow, my turntable is gorgeous. Do I leave it just like this? That's kind of amazing, right? I'm just gonna wait a second. It's 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 running down the sides. That's what's happening right now. Ta-da! I love that one too. I do. It's a little bit different than the other one. Um, the other one just has that bronze. That's just the difference in uh, ordering the colors. Looks like a little peacock right there. Yeah, I'm I'm done done with this one. <laughs> I am going to stop filming. If you see me post a picture with like five Convexo canvases, <laughs> all the same, you know I went a little crazy. But yep, let me... Uh, it's just phenomenal all the way around. Let me uh, turn the camera off, put him next to the other two, and get you guys in for a close-up. For reals this time. Okay, guys, here's the one that started it all. It's my favorite. Um, I'm trying to figure out why, and I think it's because the cell activator color, that turquoise green, changed into true green. Where's my finger? Up here. Um, that's the glare from my uh, pot lights above on the ceiling. But, and I love how it's light around the edges too. So this one is the winner for me. It just, I mean, they're all fantastic, I think. Um, there's the first one. And then here is the second one, the big guy. And you can really see the bronze with the turquoise, which just looks stunning. And look at the edges. I just love that. That looks really phenomenal, in my opinion. Um, and I like how some of the cells here have the, uh, that's the um, deep red. Makes it look like shadows. But doesn't that look textured? That's really cool. And then it changes up here. And I, I even really like, if I can get around, um, the light edges there as well really super super pretty so yeah this one's a big winner for me and then the third one here also cute as a mushroom button again <laughs> it's just adorable is this one here I'm going to go back actually and watch this video and figure out the order um, I did for the square guy and I think I'm going to do my other mushrooms as a triptych. I think I'm gonna do these colors, y'all. I'll film that. Um, and then I'll get back to the negative space at some point, but I'm all inspired by these colors for sure. So let me see if I can get all three. You can tell I'm lingering. You know I'm happy when I linger. Yep, there they be. Hold on. <laughs> I was just checking my hair for paint because you can use this like a little mirror. I'm like, do I paint my hair? Uh, anyway. I hope you enjoyed a little longer video and listening to me yammer on. I was thinking about like, I have some stories to tell. Um, maybe in the next video, and maybe I'll mix in front of you because that's more like story time because when I actually do the blow drying and whatnot, you know, got to concentrate. So um, yeah, not to leave you guys hanging for those that like that sort of thing. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help me get to 50K. 
and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, treat people with kindness. Yeah. Peace out, y'all.